As the White House is reshuffling the leadership of the Department of Homeland Security, some officials appear intent on leaking the department's worst secrets out to the press. In the first of two major leaks over the last day, journalists have learned of an internal DHS plan considered at one point that would have directed ICE to transport detained migrants to so-called sanctuary cities before releasing them. The idea was allegedly floated by White House officials as a way to politically undermine Democrats' arguments for the sanctuary cities and in favor of more lenient immigration laws. And today, yet another DHS leak, NBC News reports that plans were considered at one point to direct the U.S. military to build and operate migrant detention facilities on the southern border. So for more on these issues, uh, we're joined now by Alan Orr. He is vice president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. And Jennifer Lawrence, she's the communications director of We Build the Wall. Uh, folks, thanks for being with us today. Uh, Alan, I I'd like to start with you. Uh, the cities that have embraced the so-called sanctuary city policies are sending a clear message that they are open to receiving more migrants. So why is it wrong then to consider uh, those particular locations when choosing a location to, to release migrants after they've been uh, apprehended at the border? because those aren't the rules that are allowed by ICE policy, and that's just not the way the government is directed. So the, the president wasn't looking to do this. Well, he's actually looking to do this now again. So this is looking, he was looking to punish those communities is what he thought he would be doing by either claiming that the immigrants that they would receive would be violent and therefore disrupt those communities, which seems would be against the American people, or he was basically just saying that he didn't really care and he was just gonna try to flood those cities. And that's just not the way that US policy works, and that's why he got pushed back from the ICE officials and what you're sort of seeing is the sort of breaking down of this organization that should be working together as a team by leaking these memos to sort of show that there is discontent with the way that they're organized currently. Now Jennifer, the, the whole reason that officials seemed interested in, in doing this in the first place was that they believed it would cause a spike in crime and economic burden on these cities causing local officials like uh, Nancy Pelosi some political damage back at home. Is it wrong for the nation's public servants to be making decisions uh, that they believe would actually damage certain communities? No, it's not damaging it at all. It's highlighting what is going on. Um, we have sat with multiple angel families and, and sat with people all across the country who are affected negatively by illegal immigration. And illegal immigrants, criminal illegal immigrants coming into this country and committing crimes against U.S. citizens. If these sanctuary cities want to be incentives for these people to come here and give them reason to come here and break U.S. law to get to their sanctuary in that city, then they should reap what they sow. And these politicians need to realize that we elected them to be there. And we want a wall and we want a sovereign country and we want a border. And we're not going to put up with criminal illegal aliens coming into this country and committing crime. Now, Alan, we're seeing record numbers of migrants trying to cross the border now, uh, whether it's in caravans or family units, um, through the help of smugglers or on their own. However, uh, you've, seen, you've said before on, on air that keeping them in, in detention facilities or uh, over in Mexico to await asylum hearings is, is simply wrong. So where should they go? Right. They should follow the, the procedure that's actually there. So the first thing that we need to do is really work on our defining of the words. Because as the government caught them and they were criminals and then we're releasing them into the government, that's problematic. So these aren't criminals. These are people who are seeking asylum, who have already been through a credible they fear hearing, who are released into the United yeah. States. A crime is not committed. If the crime was committed, then why is the government releasing them into, the, into these cities? So that's really inconsistent. That's really not thoughtful at all to sort of say that these are criminals that are being released into the city. Secondly, so the way that this is supposed to work is that these individuals should be processed and then released and then they show back for their court date to finish their asylum claims because they're seeking visas just like every other category of, of individuals. So yes, actually long-term detention is not the answer. The best answer is, like I said before, sort of building foreign policy and not making the sign like saying we're going to build a wall and shut down the government to cause these large people to come to the government now thinking that this wall is going to be built that's going to keep them from being able to come in the future. Jennifer, your take on no, that? No, Democrats... 
Yeah, and Democrats need to get, stop giving them incentive to come here. And it is it is twice, three, ten times deported illegal aliens who are coming here and committing crime. Grant Ronenbach, the son of Steve Ronenbach, who's on our board at WeBuildTheWall.us. You know what? That man that killed him was a twice or three times deported illegal alien. So don't try to defend these people. Um, there it is. But uh, Shalom Yasharala, which is Israel. Which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I'm going to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to. Okay? You know, not going out to, but you get know what I'm saying. Who's also uplifting. The uh, names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah into the confusion of faces whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like one of the heathen nations that you're scattered amongst. Same to if your sea line goes back to one of these tribes through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it. See, confusion of faces out there that do look a little different. You are Israelites. Okay? To the uh, few aqua, which is you sisters that do listen, learn, shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, whether you may be scattered throughout one of the, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to, shalom to you. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites. That is your true nationality. Okay, not black, not Latino, not Native American. Okay, you are the Hebrew Israelites, man. The chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh, Shah. Okay, a special people. Okay, and um, you see what it says here, man. You seen this clip right here? It says leak, uh, Department of Homeland Security. If you didn't know what DHS was, you know, plans reveal government chaos, man. Okay, and this is basically surrounding uh this what you see is going on with this uh immigrant thing. Okay, but really, truth be told, is Esau Edom, who was the so called white man, he's gonna come down. Okay, on all you tribes, man. It's not just the uh the New Northern Kingdom was combined of you Latinos and Native Americans. It's gonna be okay, all the tribes, man. But I'm gonna get my first scripture. This uh, I'm This is uh, Psalm 64 and 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Okay? Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Okay? The Esau Edom, man. Okay? From the insurrection of the works of iniquity. Okay? And who is this talking about? It's talking about this whole chapter goes in basically on who you people know as the elites, the Illuminati, like you are, the world likes to call them. Okay? They're behind. Okay? All this this planning that's going on, because cause your uh your politicians, your Democrats and Republicans, which they're both one and the same, okay, they're all taking orders, okay, from uh these elites. So that's why I'm getting this. So let me read it again, the second verse. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the works of iniquity, and that's all they do, okay. They work iniquity. It tells you. In the book of Proverbs, real quick, then I'm going to go back to that verse. Hold on, let me get type in sleep. Salaki, real quick. Yeah, Proverbs 4 and 6. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. And who are they trying to cause some to fall? Okay, let me uh go back to the Psalm 64 chapter.
Psalm 64 and 2. I'm going to read again. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bow to shoot their arrows, even their bitter words, that they may shoot in a secret place at the perfect. And who is the perfect? You Israelites, man, the people, okay? On his son, the Lord, the apple of the Lord's eye for uh, uh for a change, man. Okay? These these tribes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusion of faces, man. Okay. That they may shoot in a secret at the uh, in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at them and fear not. Okay? They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, Who shall see them, man? Okay? And that's what this is they're doing, man. These, these, they're about to, uh, they're setting up all these plans, all these schemes and stuff, okay, to trap you Israelites, man, okay, because I'm about to get a scripture after I read the verse down. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and their heart is deep, man, because you know why they're doing it, okay? This is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in, in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down to you having great wrath, because he, he, this devil's a he, so it's talking about a person, okay? And this devil's talking about Esau Edom. He know if they had but a short time, man, okay? So this is why they setting up all these uh things. You just had Donald Trump uh, uh recently uh sign a bill talking about he wants, sign a bill to where they could prevent a EMP attack. Okay, electric ma magnetic pulse attack. Okay, when they're the ones that's really uh, uh bringing the EMP attack. Okay, so so something is going to happen to where this society uh basically shuts down. Okay, society's about on the brink of collapse. They're gonna have it till they uh do with it, where this cause society collapses. Whether it's something at the border, whatever they're doing. Okay, something's going to happen to where all hell is going to break loose. Okay. Because these 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 Edomites know starting with these elites on down, okay, mainly the elites, because the elites know exactly what's going on, okay, with these prophecies. They know they have a short time left, and it tells you in Second Ezra, the uh sixth chapter, if I'm not mistaken, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It's gonna be this man, he knows, okay, that us being the Israelites, okay, knowing he has us in the captivity. Okay, that due to us, he has a short time rulership because we're waking up. Okay, so now he knows we're in the way of his so called new world order. Okay, so they're setting all this up. So they're going to try to basically, you know, exterminate uh, you Israelites, man. Okay, he's going to come down with great wrath, man. Okay, and the majority of our people don't even see it coming, man. You know, they still worried about the whole Nipsey Hussle uh, thing happening. Whatever, man. Whatever they into, man. They don't see, okay, that this man is a, 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 a coming down, man. Okay? Just Joel... Uh, actually, that's a good one. Um, it's Jeremiah thirty. I'm gonna start the fourth verse. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. So it was all the tribes, okay? For thus said the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, not of peace. Ask ye now, see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman travail on all faces are turned into paleness, okay? And alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? But he shall be saved out of it. And who is that? The elect, man. Okay, the Lord's gonna save the elect out of this, man. That's the only ones that's gonna make it, you know. You no, know, Lord willing, I'll be you no know, one of those men. But um, that's the point. Jacob's trouble is what this whole thing is called, man. And that's what's coming. 
Okay? These Edomites are going to try to bring the uh bring the war to us, but they're sadly mistaken, okay? But it says in Daniel 12 and 1, And at that time, so Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. It's going to get bad out here, so you're going to literally have, okay, certain angels uh protecting, okay, uh, uh the elect out here, okay? And it already says that in Psalms 34 and 7, the angels of the Lord and camp have run about them that fear of the Lord. Okay? You know, quickly paraphrasing it. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince will stand for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was even a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Once again, that's the elect. Okay? Because Esau, he's about to, uh, he knows these prophecies is basically on his ass. Excuse my language. So he's about to uh basically he's gonna try to do away with the nation of Israel, okay? Because we're the ones that's gonna take him out of his rulership, okay? Lucky. Um Lucky, hold on. Because when this happens, Second Ezra, the whole book of Second Ezra, the fifteenth and sixteenth chapter, is gonna come into play. Some of these events is already taking place. Okay, uh, famines, martial law, and everything, man. Okay, this was it was the thirty seventh chapter. Okay, this is thirty. This is Psalms thirty-seven and twelve. The wicked plotted against the just, cause this is what it really is: is the a plot against you Israelites. Okay, the destruction of you is always been that way. But this man, he's not gonna hide it. He's not hiding anymore. They're gonna, they literally just gonna show you that they want you done away with. Okay, the Lord shall laugh at him for he's no. Uh, the wicked plotted against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he see it that his day is coming. Okay? He see the end is near. Okay? He sees it. These elites see it. And, and we see it. Okay? The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Okay? Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. So that's what's eventually going to happen. They're, oh, they're plan, okay, on trying to wipe us out, okay, is going to uh backfire, basically, okay? Because when they try to come after uh the nation of Israel, because it's saying he's going to be like in the second, uh, second Ezra, the 16th chapter, how... Esau is going to be a madman, like a madman sparing none, man. Okay? When he tries to pull his move, that's when the Lord is going to pull his move. Okay? This is Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear, so shall, shall they fear, they fear the name of the Lord from the west 
and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay? So that's eventually what's going to happen. Okay? The Lord's going to lift up that standard through spiritual power by, by way of the angels, just like it said in Daniel, the 12th chapter. Okay? And uh, by the chariots as well. Okay? So Esau, he's not gonna, he's not gonna be successful, okay? He could try this all he wants, but it's not gonna work, okay? Let me see. Let me see the house of God real quick. Zechariah Let me see All right, I'll start at Zechariah The first verse. I start the first verse, but the point is in the eighth verse. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, said the Lord, which stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and formed the spirit of man within them. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah, okay, and Jerusalem, okay. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people that, for all people, all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all pe the people of the earth be gathered together against it. So when Esau, these two thirds, these other heathens, okay, they try to com come down on our, our nation, okay, they're going to uh, uh, get crushed, man. And that day said the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment. And his rider with madness, and I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah, and will smite every house of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength, and the Lord of hosts is their power. And that day will I make the governors of Judah like an heart, hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheath, and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place. Even in Jerusalem, okay, the Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, and and the that the glory of the house of David, that's the elect, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah, and that they shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord the before them, okay. And not, and it shall come to pass. So we're gonna be them bodies, man. Them new bodies. If you read First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter, it goes into how we gonna uh, uh receive those new bodies, man. Okay, them spiritual uh, uh godly bodies, cause these bodies we in aren't 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 uh, uh nothing, man. Okay, these bodies are the chambers of death right here, man. Okay, they go off easy. Okay, they are weak. You get tired in them. Okay, so we're gonna receive that. And that day there shall be a hold on. and then it shall come to pass, this is the ninth verse, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. So when Esau tries his funny his his uh funny games trying to you know take out our nation, okay, his going backfire on him. Okay? So this is what's about to happen. Okay? All hell's gonna break loose, Esau is gonna try to you no, know, do away with Israel, but it's going to completely backfire. Because the Lord's not going to let Esau, okay, get his elect. He might let Esau get the two-thirds and it will be martyrs, okay? But you still lose at the end of the day. 
Okay? So, that's my lesson. You know, Lord Williams is edifying. Call her Lord Lai, how about Shimabashah? And Shalom.